What's up to Wayman's own Charlie Coyle? He plays for the Bruins, and I love that he's a huge fan of 101 Seven the Bowl. He loves country music, so we decided to team up this Bruins season, and this is your chance to get to know Charlie Coyle on a more personal level. So welcome to Breaking the Ice with Charlie Coyle. So let's talk Nashville. So, you know, big country music fan, so... Mm-hmm. When are you going to Nashville again? I know the Bruins will oh, be gosh. there in January. So, Is that, so then it'd be Tuesday. January. I think it'd be, yeah, yeah, that would be the only time we go there this year. Yeah. Um, so when I was playing in Minnesota, we'd go there a couple times a year, which okay. is very nice. So maybe we'd catch somewhere, you know, the nice weather down there. But I love going to Nashville. Yeah. Um, I actually went a few years ago after the season. I have a buddy who plays um, uh, professional hockey yep. down in Huntsville, Alabama. So it's only a two hour drive from Nashville. Oh, that's so awesome. we flew yeah. in, got to see him play, drove down. Spent the weekend in Nashville, so cool. and it was awesome. Yeah. The weather is great, um, you know, because it was summertime pretty much, and uh, just everything about did it, you, just whole Broadway right there. And did you do the Pedal Tavern? Those no. Why? You know, we wanted to, <laughs> yeah. and it was on the, uh, the, yeah. the list to do, and we just yeah. didn't get around to it, but... Um, yeah, that's like the classic okay. thing to do down there, I think. But I've done it like three times. Have you? Every time I go, I'm like, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. But I yeah. do it. It's a riot. It is, it yeah, is it's so fun. much it's fun. fun. And then you can control your playlist and like, yeah. it's it's so much fun. We'll do it next time we swing in. Yeah. yeah. So where um, have you ate in Nashville? Like, or you just so go right down the honky tonk road? My, uh, we might go down there just a little bit if we have time or maybe an off day and just kind of yeah. check things out, check the scenery. Um, see some live music. That's yeah. it's so cool. You pop at any bar or any That's restaurant, awesome. and it's yeah. they're playing music. It's it's so cool. But my place to go to is Virago. It's Virago. Oh, right? oh I've been there. Yeah, the sushi That's, spot. I'm a big like yeah. you said. I'm a big sushi yeah. guy, so I always try to pop into there and that's yeah it's really good they have a cool like deck area too that overlooks the yeah. city so yeah that's my yeah. go-to spot so i'm gonna go to nashville for the cma awards so oh, nice. next time we chat we'll like break it down you can pick who you who you think's gonna yeah. win all the awards yeah. and everything but that'd be fun yeah that'd so fun. i forgot to ask you what concert did you go to in the summer that was like the highlight oh boy let you? me think here let me think um i know you saw brett yeah i saw Luke brett Bryan. Um, Luke Bryan was, I, I love the concerts yeah. at Gillette. I just love venturing in there, whether you take, yeah. you know, so I've taken school buses, party buses, I've yeah. driven in, like I, I've done it all. So I, yeah. I think even just going there, you know, going like a party bus or with a group of people, that's, that's so fun. Yeah. Um, so we had a blast doing that. That was a, yeah. a week or two after the season ended. Um, so kind of got to just forget about everything, go have fun at a concert and um, went with some friends and yep. family and it was I just love everything about that concert in Gillette, so it doesn't matter who it is, yeah. but Luke Bryan is, I've seen him a few times awesome. now, and he's, he's awesome. Well, hopefully you can he's make awesome. it to the Colson Del Corey Fest. Yeah, <laughs> that would be fun. That That's would be fun. Um, so, you know, we're all about Pimp and Joy because of the Bobby Bone Show, so what's, like, one recent act of kindness that you've witnessed, like, recently oh, that boy. just really impressed you? Um, Could have been a teammate. Or? Yeah, let me think. Um, the one that just pops into my head is... Um, and I think we talked about it, uh, the mighty Quinn of Weymouth and just yeah. everyone who just takes a little bit out of their time to go over to, um, to, to Quinn's house and, mm-hmm. and to see him and, and his family and just pop by the window and say hello. I, yeah. I mean, that stuff is so cool. And I know it, he appreciates it and has fun, you know, doing whatever. And so just, you know, following them, I follow him on Instagram a little bit and just seeing the different people who pop over there every now and then, whether it's sports teams or yeah. firefighters, police officers or whoever um i think that's that's pretty cool that's and it great that seems to went. happen every day yeah i keep seeing the highlights on the news are still sharing like your yeah. images and everyone visiting that's great that you can take your time out yeah. to yeah pay there's a lot a of good visit. people out there so it's, yeah. it's nice to see that more and more i think that's what social media is good for absolutely so yeah. how's Bodie? he's good he's getting big it's, it. it's crazy yeah. he's getting big um you know the whole potty training's going yeah. somewhat smoother <laughs> um we're starting to kind of know his habits and yeah. all that, so that's helping. Um, but he's still, he's nibbling a lot. He's getting the, the sharp teeth in. He's yeah. getting stronger, so we're trying to um, fight that habit, too. Awesome. But well, he's good. Well, next time we chat, we'll chat, chat about the CMA Awards, yeah. and hopefully the Bruins are undefeated. That yeah, time. that'd be nice. We'll shoot for <laughs> yeah, that, definitely. I mean, the Pats kind of set the bar high. For, they always so do. You guys, They're a tough yeah. act to follow, but yeah. that's Boston sports yeah. for you. We I'm going to their, being there. their game in D.C. this weekend. Or oh, wherever. lucky. Yeah. yeah so. That'd be awesome. Yeah, so it's like randomly, it's Carrie Underwood is in D.C., and oh, then we're going to go nice. see her and then go see the Pats. So it's like a nice little yeah, what a life. country That's music awesome. and sports, my type of weekend. Yeah, we're hoping to but schedule theirs 
yeah. uh, coincides with ours so we can maybe we have an off day shoot down Gillette awesome. and watch a game yeah but we'll see as it goes on but yeah you're impressed with the pats so far yeah I, think, I mean yeah first couple of games i didn't get to see a whole lot of the, the one yeah. this weekend i know it was a closer game and uh, the bills were i mean they're three yeah. and oh and all that so but and you just um, met tom brady just met him yeah first time so it was seemed like a was great it, guy and i mean it was, it was very quick yeah. but um it was at the tb12 event about a week ago week or two yeah. ago and um he had a lot going on he's you know he's saying hi to everyone and making sure everyone's yeah feels welcomed and all that to you know his facility and um but it, it was cool he stopped and got to say hi quick and was that um, a moment for you, though? I mean, growing up Yeah, here, I mean, I grew up in middle, yeah. I'm in middle school watching him right, winning so. Super Bowls and all the way up till yeah. now, and it's crazy he's still playing. I was yeah. thinking about it. I'm like, <laughs> you don't think you're going to meet that guy when yeah. I'm 27 now. It's, it's, it's yeah. nuts. So um, it was really cool, and you just see how he carries himself. He's a stand-up guy, and he's obviously a great player. And yeah. It was definitely a cool moment. That's awesome for yeah. you. So last question before we wrap it up. What advice do you have for any of the youth hockey players out there? Oh, I, I mean, just have yeah. fun. I mean, it's yeah. it's – we play hockey because it's fun and um growing up i mean there, there are a lot of parents who can be hard on their kid and push yeah. me to do this that this but i'd say venture out play other sports yep. um that's how you become an all-around athlete and i think it helps you with the sport that you want to pursue um but just have fun and work hard i mean if you really want to get to a, a higher level and yeah. you, you gotta you gotta work you gotta put in the in the hours like anything you do and and that's what that's what we do that's what we've done all of our lives and um but yeah, and then also in school you got to do yeah. good. That was that was my parents stressed that a lot, and um, you got to keep your studies up, and above all else, be a good person. That's what my mom always taught me: is to be a good person, respect everyone, and treat everyone like you want to be treated, yeah. and be friendly. And um, Great those advice. are some of the yeah, yeah, those are some of the qualities and characteristics that yeah. I was taught. So I try to keep portraying that as much as I can and yeah. my parents still are on me about that so that's I'm lucky awesome. to have them you know? great well always great yeah. chatting with you and we yeah. will see you soon yeah you too thanks Jessica yeah.